So Molecule One by Eccentric Molecules is a very, very popular fragrance in the fragrance community. A lot of people talk about it, and uh, I was hesitant at first, but now I'm a big fan of it. Alice and I are going to go ahead and review this very, very popular, almost no fragrance fragrance. Coming right up. <laughs> Allison is here, and she and I are fans of Molecule One. We're going to go ahead and review this one. So basically, Eccentric Molecules, Molecule One was launched in uh, 2006, so a little over 10 years ago. It's an eau de toilette, comes in 100 ml like this bottle that Allison's holding up for $135. And the nose behind this is Gaze Shone. In fact, all of the fragrances in the Eccentric Molecules collection of fragrances are all by, done by Gaze Shone. And the notes for this fragrance, are there any notes? It's just one note. It's a synthetic molecule called ISOE Super. So the little story about me and this fragrance, when I was sent a sample by a friend, uh, he said, you got to try this. It's so good. It smells like cedar. I'm like, oh, I love cedar. I was expecting something very woody, but when I got it, I was like, I can't smell anything. So I put it away, but I kept going back to it at Barney's and smelling it. And I was asking for samples and they gave them to me and I, I'm totally in love with it now. It's just an amazing, unique kind of a fragrance. Yeah, so ISOE Super is a synthetic molecule. It was created, um, I believe, in the 70s. Um, and That long ago. Yeah, that long ago. But it really hasn't been until, I think, the 90s that it got used a lot more. Um, but uh, it, it is a cedary, woody scent, but it's very dry and it's very light. And it's actually used in perfumery a lot. Um, and it's used to um, uh, increase the longevity of a scent. Um, and at least what I noticed when a perfume is blended with, with ISO, C, ISO E Super is that it really tends to separate the notes a little bit more. Hmm. Um, you but, must have done your research for this video. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, I mean, it's such a talked about synthetic molecule and, uh, you know, I've read about it and, um, you know, usually for me, if I get into an elevator at work or something like that, um, I can smell ISO E Super in like everyone's scent and when they're in the elevator. It's used a lot in perfumery. Um, so it stands out for you. It does stand out for me, but a lot of people are actually anosmic to it. So um, it's also, it's a big molecule. So sometimes it takes a while for you to be able to really pick it up because um, it just is too big for your nose to be able to detect. And that's why like some people say that it kind of comes and goes for them, um, which I think makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, it's really great. It's a dry, sort of woody... Definitely dry. Mm -hmm. But it's light and airy. It's definitely not heavy by any means. No, it's not heavy at all. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a perfect fragrance to wear at the gym. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a good gym fragrance, good office fragrance. Um, yeah. Well, I had a little uh, perfume party uh, almost two years ago at my house, and a lot of the people that came did not did not know a lot about fragrances. Mm -hmm. They're just friends of friends. And, so we were passing around fragrances, and this is one of the ones that we passed around. And everybody was so surprised at how unique of a fragrance it is because they can hardly smell it, but then there is that smell of dry, woody cedar sandalwood. It's a mysterious type scent, I guess you would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's more sandalwood or cedar? Because when I did my video for uh, Molecule 4, which is a Javanol synthetic, synthetic molecule fragrance, I read that it's supposed to be sandalwood slash cedar, and I get more cedar from it. I get more cedar from it too. I wear Tam Dao by Diptyque almost every day. It's mm -hmm. a good. Nice, that's your. Yeah, that's my go-to because it's a good office fragrance. Um, but so I love sandalwood. I love sandalwood dominant fragrances. I just I go crazy for sandalwood. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, this is not because sandalwood has kind of a creamy quality to it. Oh, I love creamy sandalwood. I, yes, exactly. So this is definitely this is dry. So I would put this more in the cedar category. Cedar category. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, have you tried Molecule 4? <laughs> I have not tried Molecule 4. So Molecule 4 is the latest Eccentric Molecules fragrance. I did a video for it along with Eccentric 4. Um, this is supposed to be more of a creamy sandalwood, which I do get. But the, I don't even know if I remember saying this at the beginning of the studio, but same with this as it was with Molecule 1. I couldn't smell anything at first. Mm -hmm. I think my nose had to be trained for it. Now I can totally pick up the sandalwood uh, in here, and it's a very creamy sandalwood. Yeah. But when I did my video, I was like, I couldn't hardly smell anything. <laughs> so I sprayed this on right before we started this video, and I can't smell it 
really on me, but I can smell it on you. That's so weird. Yes, I can definitely, I like, I can, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm getting like creamy sandalwood, like wafting off of you. And it's starting to come out a little bit on me. It's actually, yeah, it, I can smell it on you, but you it's can. hard for me to smell on me. And I think it's one of those things like ICV Super where it's probably a big molecule and it'll kind of come and go. So I imagine that maybe later on today, I'll get wafts of it or maybe in a couple hours or something like that. But on you, it's definitely, I can smell it and I can smell this creamy, like cozy sandalwood. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I was asking a perfumer the other day, I said, why, if they already have ISOE Super, why come up with a new molecule called Javanol? And she was like, well, it's, it's, a, it's, it's the own unique thing, she said. It's well, I would say with um, Javanol, well, with Sinwood in particular, like, I don't think that ICV Super was necessarily made to replicate, replicate a specific note, but Javanol, I believe, was was created to replicate sandalwood, sandalwood and sandalwood is endangered and it's been over harvested and it's expensive and it's hard to get. So it made more cost effective sense probably to create a synthetic version of it. Um, and also it is slightly different. It is creamier, cozier. Here's an idea. Why don't we layer molecule one and molecule four together? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that would be unique, huh? Yeah. Now oh one's God. dry and one's creamy, so it'll balance it, each other out. <laughs> Right? Yeah, probably. Well, you never know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to smell it. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I would wear that. Wow. I like that. You know, one thing I, it took me a long time to realize this, but I really like Woody scents. Here's another thing. A lot of people, I've done videos for um, this brand, and a lot of people comment and say, well, you can buy the molecule or whatever cheap cheaply why buy why pay $135 for molecule one when you can buy the molecule on eBay or whatever people sell them I'm like well it, I mean what do you think about that I mean I think yeah you can do that but it's not sexy like it's not it's not in a sexy bottle like this and no it I definitely mean, isn't <laughs> um you know I'm not really sure the thing is the thing about fragrances I think too that people maybe don't know or understand is that um you know, oftentimes when they list out the notes in a fragrance, that's partially a, a marketing tactic too, right? Like a lot of fragrances have tons of ingredients on them and they're not all listed all the time. So while I imagine this is probably mostly ISOE Super, um, there's probably other stuff in here too. I think so. Yeah. yeah. But people but have yeah. said, people have said, oh, it's identical. <laughs> I don't even have to get that bottle. I can only buy it for $20 for like a hundred mil or something. I don't, I don't know what that is. I, so I have smelled ICV Super, just the molecule before, and I've smelled Timber Silk, which is like a later iteration of ICV Super. Um, and it does smell pretty similar, although this seems to have a little bit more of like a lemony freshness to it, I guess I would say, um, than, you know, when you when I've smelled just the, the molecules on their own. Mm -hmm. um, but also like, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a pain to have to go because then you have to get the perfumer's alcohol and you have to dilute it and you know, all that kind of stuff. And it's probably just easier just to buy this. It's sexier too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the bottle is definitely really nice and it's kind of an intriguing bottle in of itself as well. Oh, totally. Yeah. Well, what else should we say about this uh, awesome fragrance? It's really popular. I know people buy a lot. And the other thing a lot of people do is layer it with uh, yes. other things. That's the thing I wanted to mention is mm -hmm. like, um, like you can layer this with like a, like the Tejota. You can layer it with anything. Like the vanilla plus woody. Uh, yes. You can layer it with pretty much anything. I mean, it is an ingredient that is used a lot in perfumery um, with any kind of perfume, really. Um, it'll extend the life of your fragrance. If you have something that you're like, well, this really just doesn't last that long on me. If you do probably a little molecule L1 and, and your favorite short lasting scent, it'll probably last a little bit longer as well. I like to do it with some citruses because that makes sense. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Gives it a little more backbone or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A that woody backbone. Sense. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And you can wear both of them to the gym too. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's a great scent for the gym. I think. Yes. It really is. Yes. And I actually wear Tim Dow to the gym so I could, oh. um, yeah, <laughs> that makes wow. sense as well. <laughs> you wear strong stuff to the gym. Do you wear the uh, ED, EDP or the Yeah. EDT? You think the EDP is strong? I don't think it's strong. No? Yeah. Not on me at least. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm crazy. I don't know. It's pretty strong. Okay. It's pretty beastly, I think. <laughs> really? I think it is, but it's not like projection-wise, it's not. It's just a really beefy fragrance. Yes. 
That's but true. it doesn't like it's not like loud. No. Although no. with when you're sweating at the gym, I'm sure it gets really <laughs> louder. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little. Your body heat, I'm sure, will bring it out more. Yeah. So yeah, I like I like eccentric, eccentric molecules, molecule one a lot. Yes, this but is this is a very popular scent. I think what I've heard, you know, like in New York right now, it's Sun Paul 33, but in London, a lot of people wear eccentric molecules. Really? Yep. Interesting. Yeah, at one point I wasn't a fan. Now I'm a huge fan and I love to explore the rest of the collection. And Molecule 4 has really, really grown on me. Yeah, I mean, I think this is definitely one of those scents too where if at first you can't really smell it or you're having trouble smelling it, give it a little bit of time and it'll probably grow on you. Totally. Well, thanks so much for doing this video with me. Thank you. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please list below. Uh, we'll, we'll get a conversation started about Molecule 1 uh, or Molecule 4 or even Molecule 3 and Molecule 2. Uh, those I should pick up those soon and we can do more videos for those because they're very, very popular fragrances, the whole collection. Yeah. And maybe we'll do some eccentric molecules. Eccentric, eccentric, eccentric fragrances as well. <laughs> yeah, I haven't tried those. Well, the brand is called Eccentric Molecules, <laughs> and Eccentric yeah. 1 and Eccentric 2 are the, the complementary fragrances. Right. Did, you know about, did you know that? Yeah, so I, I believe the Eccentric um, part of the line is where they take the main ingredients, such yeah. as ISO E Super, and they mix it with other ingredients yeah. as well. So. Well, for this one, I, I have the, the Eccentric really? 4. It's quite lovely. It's very fruity. Okay. Really nice. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.